Hello, this is Chris with MTGO Academy, and I will be drafting the MTGO Cube Phantom Drafts for this video recording. We're waiting in a Swiss queue right now. I'm pretty much only drafting this in Swiss, and I also pretty much only force mono black because I just really like casting Phyrexian Obliterator ever since I played it in Limited in Scar's Block. So, just so you guys know what strategy will probably go down, there it is. I'm committing to it before this event fires. Um, the mono black decks I found are best if you get a lot of early drops. Okay, like this is a horrible pack for me to see. I mean, I like Stupor, but I think that Mortar Pod is just better. Um, Gravecrawler combos with it just like in standard. And uh, there's a good chance we can wheel stupor. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we can probably wheel stupor. Okay. So, as far as mono black goes, this pack is also pretty weak. No guys. You want to have a lot of early drops, but Demonic Tutor is very strong. Um, I guess that I want to wheel the port here. Let's think here, we got... like Ratchet Bomb might be okay as a sideboard card, but I normally don't take cards like Living Death, like any of the combo -y cards. Okay. We got a Diagraph Ghoul here. That's fine. Um, Mirror and Crusader, something I don't want to see. What is this? The creature deals it. Sacrifice this creature. It deals one damage. Okay, so I can't deal with that at all. I like Opposition a lot, just as a card. Worth noting. I got destroyed by it in one of these cubes. But one thing that I like about Mono Black is if your curve is low enough, you can play 16 lands easily, and you don't have to worry about uh, drafting any of the dual lands, so you just draft labels. I mean, I suppose you could try splashing, but I haven't been so bold yet. Okay, this pack has Dothy Slayer and Gravecrawler. I... Okay, and there are 12 cards left. So, what four cards probably come back? Like, Etched Oracle. Um, I can see Gravecrawler coming back. This is kind of a hard one for me, because I want to take the Dothy Slayer. But I think I'm just going to take the Gravecrawler and hope the Slayer laps. I think there's a better chance of the Gravecrawler lapping. But with the mortar pod, and I like to have one drops a lot, I'm just going to go ahead with the great crawler. It's sad to see a, a decision like that in a later pack because the beginning packs really didn't have anything great for us to lap. I mean, because I'm drafting mono black, like I could still see a core lash or an obliterator in the next four packs. Okay, out of this pack, I'll go with Ziao Dun, the one-eyed, or whatever his name is. He's got amazing evasion, basically a shadow, but he can interact with normal guys and brings back our best spell. Um, I've played Tomb Stalker in this deck before, but it doesn't always... Um, it doesn't actually get to the point where you can cast it a lot because you have a decent amount of permanence. Okay, there's an obliterator. Sweet. Pretty much why we drafted this. Hopefully this coffers doesn't make anyone else think they should be drafting mono black. I think coffers is horrible. Okay, awesome. Inquisition. You want a little bit of discard to interact with the decks that try to do unfair things.
Hmm. I might like Mindstone actually more than I like Skithrix. Actually, maybe Precursor Golem? Hmm. I'm thinking about just taking the Skithrix so no one tries to play it. And it kind of gives me a finisher. I mean, the Golem's fine. Hmm. There's a lot of removal though. Let's we'll go with Skithrix. I doubt I'll play him though. Probably should have taken the Golem there. I wish that you could manually situate cards up here. So I could like, throw him over here. <laughs> but our deck is shaping up nicely. Uh, we still have hope to get like two more playables this pack. And ending with nine playables would make me feel alright. The beginning packs were pretty low on black cards. So anyone downstream from us shouldn't really be looking into black. Unless they open something great. And then I've just been hoping to try to make it work. But no one else I think really should have eight picks worth of black downstream from me. Here's the super we're looking for. Uh, Mystical Tutor is still in. Someone took the Chandra. One thing about the Swiss drafting, you don't really see anyone try to go crazy with combo. Okay. We're not going to be playing Living Death, but the Isolated Chapel, I guess that they're is a chance that we can splash, so go ahead and hide it. Hmm. Entomb isn't really a card that I want to play. I'm considering active aggression. It's probably better for our strategy. And I think that letting a black card flow in Entomb is alright. So, wait, that is the third, so the fourth pack we saw, this should have, or this will be the pack with the Dothi Slayer, I think. Yeah, Diagraph, Mortarpod, and Demonic. Oh, great, someone took the Slayer. I think that Elves or Search. I think that Search is probably the worst card for someone to get. Go ahead and take the Tomb Stalker that we probably won't play. Okay, so I at least have 8 cards we're playing no matter what. Cabal Coffers that I don't really want. So someone must have just taken the Shadow Guy because they didn't want to play against it. A little irritating. I guess I should have tried to wield the grave crawler. Okay, let's see what the next pack brings us. Okay, for mono black, pretty much. We just have a Palladium Mirror and an Arena. I actually like Palladium Mirror, but I'm going to take the Arena because I want to draw some cards. Uh, Legaric. Explosives. I mean, I don't, I don't think this guy will lap. Just based on what we've seen, like, the Mystical Tutor going kind of late makes me think that Frantic Search will end up in the same place. I mean, there's click and desertion for anyone drafting blue. But the arena's the pick for us. We definitely want to get some cards like it. And this pack has nothing. So I think that means I just take Palette and Invec. Or, like, Yagmas will. I'm so low with my curve that, like, I just usually can't 
uh, take advantage of this. I need like six mana probably to make sure that I could do it. Um, I do try to draft dark rituals, so we could have a ritual, but still, not a big fan of will in this style of deck. Losing an early pick like that kind of hurts. If there's no black card in this coming pack, and then I imagine that the guy that's sitting right next to us tried to draft mono, eh, or at least heavy black, but I think the pack that had stupor in it, stupor was the only viable card for the strategy. So it could be that these packs are just collating against us. Okay, I'm happy taking a Hex Mage. Um, Wasteland is really the only other card that I see myself playing. Just like I don't have any removal yet, that's kind of concerning. I mean, there's no real removal in this pack, but there's a disgusting utility creature, and then like some annoying aggressive stuff and Rafello seems pretty sick so hmm I think Volrath Stronghold is the pick I guess I could look at Ankh too but I like Stronghold I guess just based off of what I've seen so far the forcing mono black is not really working out this draft. Uh, we got pretty, we got a pretty nice setup based off the first pack, but the second pack just isn't giving me anything that I'm excited about. I mean, the hex mage is okay, kill planeswalker, but I guess I got an arena too. So there's two nice cards. If I end up with six like solid solid cards and then one filler uh, of course all the black cards come in one pack um, I think I take slaughter packed and hope to wheel one of these huge guys because I really want lower curve stuff anyway and I have no removal Let's see here. We don't have anything that really... I guess we have combos with the Basilisk Caller. So getting any of those four cards back, um, there'll be two cards in the pack. And I'm probably looking at like Molten Rain and Welder or something on the, the return trip. Maybe one of the big black cards. Okay, just a random big guy. I'm getting close to build on my four drops. I guess I'll take one more, but I'm not a big proponent of Plague Sliver just because I'll be using my life for other dumb things like Arena. Hmm. I guess Gathen Raiders is a perfectly fine card. What is it? Hellbent? I think it's plus two plus two? Okay. I saw some stuff that means that Spiritmonger could be splashed, but I'll definitely play a Gathen Raiders in this black aggro. Like you don't really have uh Honor of the Pure like Crusade effects. I don't think there's a bad moon in this cube, so fine. So we have seven guys, I guess eight if you include the mortar pod. Probably not worth including him. Uh, sweet. A low curve guy, yeah. Overgrown tomb. I guess that probably I could have played the spirit monger if I wanted to, but not going to have to worry about it now. I'm not really sh Sure, I'm going to end up playing Active Aggression, but 
it seems out of the other top in we had the most likely candidates. So, I mean, I can steal a guy and equip it with mortar pod afterward. Um, trying to think. Don't really have any other synergies regarding it. Ooh, the Palladium Mirror did come back. That's a good sign. That means that the Scythrix has a better chance of making it in. Hide white. Hide. 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 Maybe the Tomb Stalker. Still, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five spells. One thing that I look for when drafting this deck, I think I mentioned it last time we saw it, the will, is um, Dark Ritual. It goes a lot, or it goes far in the strategy. Uh, Trade Wind Raider versus Tog. I think. I think it's harder for people to use Rider, and this is black. Okay, take a black green land. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the will. Don't really want to remember that we have it. Okay, so first scroll. There were two huge black cards in this pack. Hmm. The fact that both of them are gone makes me a little worried. Vines. I probably should have taken the <laughs> Gozilek. I probably should have taken the sideboard Canonist. If for some reason someone had Storm, it'd been nice to board it in. I guess that we saw the Warrens go really late, so odds are that there's. Well, I guess there's also Blue Green Storm in this. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a Snuff Out, and a Lake of the Dead, and a Persecutor. I think. I think that we can lap the Lake of the Dead, which is actually a interesting card for our deck. Not really interested in playing Persecutor. We don't have any way to remove him right now, if I remember. Oh, we've got a Mortar Pot, but still hard to remove for us. Lake of the Dead. Um, what else? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a good chance we'll get a black card back. Unless those people that are taking our black cards really want to play them. I think I actually like Strip Mine here better than Puppeteer Click. Uh, this is fine for me because I'll play it as my 17th land, gives me something to do with it. I guess we have a decent amount of uh, land options that are utility lands. Okay, so we have a Vampire Lacerator and a Knight's Whisper. I think I just take the Knight's Whisper. It's more likely to be used by someone else. Uh, the Lacerator probably won't come back, but I don't want too many low impact. I really like the zombie one drops better because I have a Grave Crawler. Oh, let's see here. We have nine guys. Yeah, I just want to draw cards. That's fine. Hmm. Well, Creekwood Liege is the only real playable. I mean, Crucible, I have Strip Mine, but I don't think that's really what I want to be doing. Trying to assemble a combo. Even if I do have Demonic Tutor. That just seems like kind of a, a clunky card to include in the deck. Uh, we don't have any other ways to abuse the Crucible. So, Creekwood Liege it is. We're done on our 4 drops. Okay. Both the black cards in here are pretty undesirable. So, that means that I'm looking at Keg or, or something else. I'm thinking about just taking Micaeus. Uh Let's think. Keg is artifacts, creatures. Ratchet Bomb's much better. 
Oh, negator. Opposite of obliterator. Don't really want to be mind shattering. Maybe I want to take Oracle because it's really annoying to play against. No, I'm good with that. We'll get rid of that. Oracle. Okay. And Grave Titan as our top end. I'm surprised that there's still a tree speaker going around. Let's see, Pristine, Talisman. If we had more stuff like Grave Titan would be the pick. Uh okay, so another chance at white, but definitely gonna go with the Dothi Horror. And this is what our last fresh pack coming up. I have how many zombies do we have? One, two. Oh, I think this guy's a horror. Three. Okay. So I have to make a decision. Short thing or another zombie. Hmm. Short thing or another zombie. Short thing's pretty annoying. But I think I'm just going to go with a zombie. Okay, so Lake of the Dead came back. Grim Grin also came back. Um, so Lake of the Dead is turn 3 6 drop. Hmm. And we're already playing two non swamps. I might actually just take. Grim Grin here. Yeah, let's just go with Grim Grin. I don't think that he makes it, but gives us some splash for stronger cards if I really want to go that route. Okay, we get Puppeteer Click back for some reason. I like that a lot better than Scytherix. Well, somehow I ended up with enough playables. So that's good. Uh, we have one, two removal spells, and then a curse scroll and a mortar pod for pseudo removal spells. What discard is Inquisition and Stupor? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The curve is a little weird on this deck. I guess the Volrath Stronghold will help me though because like I can recur things with the Zao Du or Zao Ho Dun. Hmm. So the Fathom Seer or the Bailoth would be the most annoying. I guess I can take Badlands because like it might help me with the active aggression. Might open us up to a wasteland. Okay, so the monk is kind of annoying. I think I'm fine with it. Uh, so probably Rude Awakening is the card we least want to see. Maybe it was Aeon Chronicler. I don't, I'm not quite sure there. Okay, I think we're most likely to play against Urbrask. The Quadis' champion might actually make it into the deck. It's funny that... I think that people are just hating, like, the Viscera and the Soren. That's the only thing that I can figure out based off of how all the other black cards have fallen. Unless someone has just a horrendous mana base. So... Okay, and a will bender last. It looks it looks like this will probably be a seventeen land deck and I'll just play two utility lands. Okay. Let's go black. 
I guess we have a Psychotog too if I wanted to Splash Blue, but don't really see that happening. So I have a lot of guys, that's good. I think I want my base to look something like this. I'm not going to play the act, at least not in the main. Hmm. Okay, the Palladium Mirror ramps into Titan and Laquatus. I guess that I'm looking at maybe like Plague Sliver or Laquatus as the final cut. Let's see, this guy is uh, 6 3 Regenerator. That can just kill the opponent with his life loss. Plague Sliver is just a big guy on the ground. Hmm. Like all of our spells. I think it's probably going to be the champion. Let's think here. Plague Sliver. On turn 4. What do I want to be doing on turn four? One, two, three. Maybe like Knight's Whisper and another two drop or one drop and activate curse scroll. Probably not. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut the champ. That means that I'll be a little bit lighter on like late game enders, but we get some inevitability with the stronghold and then just use strip mine immediately probably okay so if I did this by color and like I wanted to play Grim Grin I played like what three islands that would hurt one two Three, four, five, six. I guess we're already playing two that don't produce black, which is kind of annoying. So I suggest. Done. Okay, I'm going to swap out these lands for beautiful white borders and then submit my deck, and I will meet you guys in round one.